Hello! Welcome back! It's me, it's you, we've probably done this before, if we haven't then then hi, my name is Sarah Ray Vargas and I have a lot of clothes. So today we're gonna do a Lane Bryan haul. They have a bunch of new summery stuff. They have obviously plenty of plus sizes. Lane Bryan's like the OG and they have a lot of sizes and one of the best parts of a plus size brand that has been in the game forever is that they have figured out how to cut things and you know how to size things usually a little bit better than some other brands I'm just, I'm just gonna say it. they are sponsoring this video so I have a bunch of stuff here um, swimsuits rompers the rompers that's new for me I don't think I've ever gotten a romper like what I have here from Lane Bryant so that's gonna be a new one so I figured I would start with something very casual, kind of the everyday look, right? So I have a uh, striped t-shirt on here. I got this in a size 14, 16. I'm typically a size 16, 18. What I find with Lane Bryan is on top because I am not especially busty. I typically, and I have like a somewhat of a smaller waist compared to like my bottom half. Um, I usually do just fine wearing a 14, 16 as opposed to jumping up to the 18 20 guys I think I forgot to tell you that I'm gonna put the links for everything down below because That's the kind of person I am. I really liked like the shape. I like that it ruches this one I feel like I wish it was a little bit tighter on me in my waist If it was just like a tad tighter in my waist I won't go down a size, but maybe if I like over dry it it would probably I don't know actually their clothes don't tend to shrink <laughs> on the bottom half here I have a pair of shorts. It has their magic like flex waistband in it. And um, I, I'm i always kind of on the, I don't know, I'm in the middle of a 16 and an 18 when it comes to uh, bottoms at Lane Bryant. Typically with pants, I'm a 16. But with shorts, every now and again, it's like too small for me on a 16. And so this one, I was like, eh, let me like kind of err on the side of caution. And I ordered the 18s. And I would say I probably could have done the 16 in these ones because they do run a little bit larger. Um, compared to maybe some other shorts. So I could have done the 16 as you can see <laughs> But um, I will say that they are super comfortable and the length is pretty much perfect Like I have a lot of super distressed denim and obviously Lane Bryan has plenty of uh, short and denim options But I have a bunch of like super distressed denim. I tend to wear very distressed denim but when I am around certain groups of people I tend to like to tone it down a little bit and that's like this is the perfect short for me because it's a, still a really solid length I don't like the really long shorts anymore um, back in the day I used to wear that a lot but these ones I would say fit me at a really good spot I would have to guess this was like at least at least like a five inch inseam which is good for me like I said the other shorts that I have they tend to be like a three inch inseam which is just a little short when I'm like doing my kids orientation or something I already feel like we get looks sometimes because like I don't know I guess people are responsible and they have their kids like in their 30s and then by the time their kids are in grade school they're like about to around 40 and I'm like what what's happening here is this what we were supposed to do my bad uh, my mom did not tell me that okay she had kids at 15 so I did better than that though. So this is how they look from behind. Like I said, they're a little bit big, but if they, um, you know, fit me a little more snug, then they'd be like a really perfect short for me. I would still wear these, honestly, because, because they're comfortable. <laughs> and in my experience, they don't stretch out a ton when you're wearing them. So they just would kind of remain comfortable. They don't look big, right? I feel like if I had my shirt down or whatever, they just look, um, they don't look super fitted. I don't think they look like they're too big for me though. Hey, wait, before I go though, this wasn't even part of the haul, but I happen to have on this Cacique bra. They had sent it out like in PR probably two months ago. Um, and I just, I hadn't tried it out yet. And I like, I have a couple of bras that I like. And so I was like, eh, you know, it's another bra. This is so comfortable though. I literally just put it on. It's so comfortable. The band is super thick. It's like I said, it's a Cacique bra. Um, the band is super thick, which I like, and it's really smooth, and then the cuffs themselves just feel really nice. So I wear a 42C, and it fits me perfectly as a 42C. Like I said, it's strapless, so you can take these off. I only kept them on because I was wearing a t-shirt, but I'm a big fan of strapless bras because I tend to wear, like, things that are very sort of dainty and open and everything up here, so this is such a comfortable bra. 
I love it. I also get asked all the time what kind of shapewear and stuff I wear. Um, I've done videos and stuff on it before, but I'm a big fan of shaper panties. Um, so this is a pair from Cacique, and it's the Slimmer High Waist Brief. This is a size 14, 16. I haven't tried them on yet, so I wanted to give you my genuine reaction on the first go around. But um, shaper panties are great because they don't have the same like crazy suction that some higher control shapewear has. Now Lane Bryant has a ton of shapewear, um, but I just, I like these because it suits my needs pretty much. I don't need like full shapewear usually, every now and again, but this is fine. This works for me. These ones are a little bit higher. Um, I. I have another pair from them that are just slightly lower and it's just because of the length of my torso but all I do when they're too high is I um I just you know adjust them down slightly okay okay I have a thong on as you can see so let's pop something over this and I'll show you what kind of control they have okay so we have a little black romper here it's a, a little bit shorter than those shorts this is exactly how I wear my rompers they fall about mid thigh I like them loosey and I like them goosey I like them very sort of airy and I want them to move with me okay I brightened it a little bit so you could see the way that the romper crosses here in the front it is like connected you can't change that or anything but it also has pockets which I love and like I said this is a size 14 16 again as you can see like with the shorts I'm on the cusp of a 16 18 but they're one the things that are sized like this where it's you know two sizes at once I find that they tend to be just a little bit more generous in sizing so even if you're maybe a size 14 I bet occasionally you can probably dip down to um, you know a size 12. Oh you see that I have a shapewear on it does just kind of flatten my stomach just a little bit and it basically feels like I have like a pair of fitted underwear on that's pretty much all it is they cover my whole butt I like wearing them when I have um, flowy like shorter sundresses on because even if you were to see kind of you know if my dress were to fly up a little bit you wouldn't just see my butt cheek like you would see an actual you know panty back there so I'm a huge fan of these and just kind of try them out and if you haven't because it's a whole different take on shapewear it's not that constrictive shapewear you might think of the kind you sweat putting on no this is a whole different beast like it's very very good for a sort of casual even everyday wear if you wanted to just, you know, have a little something underneath your clothes. So you also don't need to like wear underwear underneath them if you just, you know, obviously plan on washing them everywhere. And I just toss mine in the washer and dryer. I don't treat them specially, nothing like that. <laughs> they just go in with everything else and they come out fine every time. Okay, so this little piece is from the Livy Active side of Lane Bryant. I think, I don't know how many years ago it was, but they introduced Livy and it's an activewear line and they have a ton of different stuff, but I hadn't seen, or I guess maybe I just hadn't noticed that they had like athleisure, which they do. <laughs> so I'm a fan of that. I have lots of leggings, I have lots of sports bras, I have lots of active stuff already, but I do like that sort of cross, cross between like, you know, something athletic and then something that is very loungy. So when I saw this, I decided I had to have it. Uh, I didn't have anything like this. I very rarely purchased like dresses. If you guys have ever noticed, I don't really purchase like um, casual, like toned down athletic dresses. I'm very much like the girly girl who wants the flowy little sundress. So this I thought was cute though. And the whole thing does have quite um, a bit of like stretch in it, which is nice. So I guess if you actually were doing something, <laughs> this wouldn't be bad um, it does have like the sort of hoodie pocket like the one pocket here in the front and then it does of course have an actual hood on it so you can put the hood up and have that sort of vibe going on it has you know the kind of weathered look and then it has uh, the added seam coming down from the top you can see the inside of the hood a little bit this one's a little bit long for me I would say that I'm typically about here this is kind of my spot but I can't always kind of, you know, you can pull it up, you can play with it. This I got in a 14, 16, and as you can see, it fits great. Like I said, a little bit long, but other than that, like it fits my arms and my chest. It's very stretchy. This is gonna accommodate like a lot of different size bodies. Okay, this is another Livy piece, and this one I went up in size, and I think it's because they didn't have the 14, 16. It wasn't because I thought it was going to be 
um, you know, particularly small or anything. It is again a very stretchy sort of fabric. You can kind of assume that with the activewear stuff, it's gonna have something in it so that your range of motion is not being limited. Okay, so I I love a romper. Like rompers are my jam. A one piece that I can just like throw on and not have to think about and not have to coordinate with anything else. That's really it for me. Like if I could revert to dressing like a baby and just have my little jumpsuits and rompers every single day with the little frills on the butt, I would do that, okay? <laughs> because I thoroughly enjoy wearing rompers. I love buying rompers for my child. We have a mutual love there. So I really wanted this one because I love the way it looked and I don't have one that's anything, you know, doesn't look anywhere like this, basically nothing similar. However, they didn't have the 1416 and unfortunately this one's a little bit big on me. <laughs> they had the 1416 and if they did I just made the wrong decision which is always a possibility um so this one is a little bit big on me but if you can kind of use your imagination I guess if you you know could buy your own size it does fit really nicely and then it has a drawstring in the center which is actually functional so you can choose to make it tighter choose to make it looser obviously um, and then you just have to open it before you go to pull it down and then the back of this one has like a button and then it has a little um, opening in the back for a little more detail back there. The length is pretty good. I would say that they fall, it falls a little bit longer than the previous romper just because that one is like loose and flowy and it's gonna be, you know, when it has a little bit more movement, it tends to hike up a little bit, but this one is not quite as flowy, so. All right, so with this one, I got a little romper here. You'll see, it's a, so this one's a size 16, like just a straight up size 16. Um, it doesn't have like a bunch of stretch or anything in it, so. You gotta make sure you're gonna actually buy your size on this one. Uh, taking measurements is always a good idea. I feel like very few people actually measure themselves and then reference the sizing charts that uh, retailers will give us. And sometimes their charts are off, but sometimes they're not. And it is very helpful when um, you know everybody has a different idea of what a size 16 is or 14 or 10 or two or whatever. So it can be very helpful. But with this, I thought it would be cute to um, maybe pair it with a denim jacket. So I picked up this little denim jacket. It is a cropped jacket. The jacket's also in a size 16. It was $89.95 regular price, but like I said, they always have sales and stuff. So this, I'm a little nervous, okay? <laughs> because as you can see, I have quite like large arms um, and I tend to have to size things to my arms and not to like my chest and waist and torso and stuff. So with denim jackets, I tend to go up in size, but then it makes them look bulky around my midsection. So here's hoping this one's gonna work out for us. Oh no. My left is my bigger arm. No. My right is my bigger arm. It is quite literally inches bigger than my left arm. Um, and that, that is all over my body. My right calf, or no, my left calf, I believe, is about an inch and a half bigger than the right. My, you know, my boobs. <laughs> We're not the same, okay? We are not the same. This fits so well. And as a 16, I'm actually super surprised, super duper comfortable. You have like full range of motion in this too. I don't know about you, but if I have a jacket on that is limiting like my range of motion or it is tight at all at my arms, it will ruin my day. It makes me feel like someone has me in a vice grip and it just turns me into a worse version of who I should be. So I can't even, I can't even pretend. I can't even pretend to wear a jacket that does not fit me perfectly. So this one fits very, very well. I haven't had a jacket fit like this in years. So um, like I said, it fits really nicely. It is stretchy. You can see that, you can see the denim stretch. Fits my arms perfectly, which I'm so excited about. Um, and I would say that I even have space here. Uh, so it is a little bit, you know, it, so basically, if you had a larger chest, then this would definitely kind of help accommodate if you did want to um, close the buttons. Like if I were to close the bottom button, um, you can see I still have like plenty of mobility and everything. That's so cool. Okay, so here we have our first swimsuit. I'm a little nervous about how the next one's gonna fit because I did, heavily size up in the bra only because I wanted it so badly because it is so cute and I was just kind of hoping I'd be able to make it work but one thing about Lane Bryant is they do not come to play with their bras okay with anything that is sized to your chest your banding cup size they are going to be generous for you I mean a lot of plus size women have very large chests and I know that Lane Bryant can seek um they are a great place 
to accommodate a larger bust with a nice wide large band as well so I didn't think it was gonna work well, we'll see I haven't tried it on yet so this one though I did get this in a 42c it's like a lightly lined very lightly lined um, balconette and it does have the hook and eye closures in the back but the band itself is um, quite wide so you have like oh my bad I went too far <laughs> it's quite wide you have plenty of space back there I didn't even connect um, the bra so if I did then this would be kind of just a little bit more snug but it has the adjustable uh, straps on it it's really comfortable it's nice and long it doesn't like cut up into my um, armpits which sometimes that tends to happen with the bras that are underwired uh, and also swimsuits they tend to go a little bit too high like I said I got in a 42c so my chest is fitting in there pretty much perfectly I don't spill out but you could definitely and some more if you can get some more boob in here it would fit um and then for the bottom i as you can see is high waisted it has a very like thick band going across the top it's super smooth i don't like have that shape around anymore it is super duper smooth very smoothing for your body you're definitely sort of being shaped a little bit it's full coverage on the bum back here and uh, the bottoms I got in a size 18 because I know swim tends to run a little bit tighter and then like I said the top I just size it to my bra that always works for me because Lane Bryant does a great job sizing their bras to begin with there are some other retailers I'm sure many of you know who for some reason want to cage you in and suffocate you with their swim tops I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why they do this. I don't know why suddenly they're like, size chart, let's get rid of that. Make everything 14 inches too small and go. All right, so no, not the case here. So this is, this is cute. I feel very like sleek. I feel like, a, I don't know, a grown up. How do I look? I really like this. This is cute. I don't normally go for like um, bottoms that are quite this high, but I can't say like looking at it, I think it looks really good so I'm just I would have to be used to the feel of them being like this high up but overall great job popping in real quick because I just wanted you guys to know that all the stuff you're about to see is from Lane Bryant's 2020 pride collection okay be honest with me can you tell that this top is not only too big in the band but too big in the cup I'm sure you're like okay where are where are your boobs they're in there there's just a lot more cup here in case I had any friends that wanted to join me. So uh, I got this top. I just, I like it so much. Let me show you why. I love the back of this one. It is so cute. It has um, like the rainbow uh, stripes kind of going down here. It knots. It's, well, is it a knot? I'm not sure if it's a knot, but it's just got like this design here in the back. It's nice and thick. It's big. It's long line. It's like all the things that I genuinely <laughs> love in a swim top cute obviously um, and then it has like this matching bottom and they have like different types of bottoms you can pretty much choose whatever you know fits your fancy and so I wanted to try a ruched bottom because I don't think that I have one that is like a high waisted ruche like this high so I wanted to try one of these out and I really like them I like that you can kind of adjust um, how the ruching is how tight or loose you know um, I do love that. <laughs> I think that's nice to be able to kind of switch it up a little bit. And then it covers obviously my entire butt and goes all the way up to my lower back here. And the ruching is also sort of in the back, not quite as much, but uh, well, not as pronounced I should say. But you know, you can kind of switch it up and move it around in the front. You want to ruch down by your crotch, you can do that. You want it higher up, you can do that. I just really liked it okay and so <laughs> I wanted the matching top and they have lots of tops and a lot of their swimsuits are interchangeable this is all by Kasik as well so like I said they do a great job sort of you know with the sizing of the top so I got this in a size 44 D which is not my size <laughs> I have um, bras that are a 42 C a 40 D and that's it those are my two sizes for bras um, I don't normally <laughs> like deviate from those two sizes uh, so 44d is obviously going to be a little bit too big but as you can see I think I don't know you be honest with me can you tell that I don't fit this top like at all 
Or do I just look kind of cute and it's okay and I should just wear it anyway? <laughs> You let me know, I'm not sure how to feel about it. This is very similar to the last one though. It has that sort of lightly lined cup here and then it has um, a nice solid underwire so you have full support, adjustable straps, everything a girl needs. Okay, so almost last but not least, not quite there. Um, they do have like a pride collection. They have different pieces. You can kind of put them together, do what you want. I personally thoroughly enjoy wearing like sleep shirts actually out and about. I find that they are just always made that little bit softer, that little bit looser. I, I just really like things that are labeled in like the sleepwear category. Okay, so then underneath the shirt, I have on uh, this little ensemble, which obviously you see is still coordinating the whole entire, you know, little collection kind of coordinates together. And I love these bralettes. I love them so much. I got like a pink one um, last year that I loved. It was so cute. And I had gotten that one in a 1416. And I was like, you know what? It was a little too snug for my likings. I'm very particular with my bralettes because I wear them so much. And so I decided to try this one in an 1820 and it was perfect. So I was, <clears throat> so I really sized up because of like the band size. I don't like for them to dig into me at all. I like for it to just lay totally flat. So that's where the um, 1820 came into play. And you can see it's like full, uh, you know, rainbow here in the front and then in the back, it's so cute. <laughs> like my sunburn but it's so cute in the back I love it the shorts obviously adorable they're just like little sleep shorts they do have pockets they have a really comfortable matching band here on the top and I like them now I don't really sleep in shorts and bra that's not me but this this is very much me I like sleeping in got a little nips huh I like sleeping in a dress so, or a nightgown or whatever you want to call it. Um, I'm a big fan of sleeping in nightgowns. In fact, like when I come home and I'm sort of done with the day, I'll go up and take my makeup off and this will happen at four o'clock in the afternoon sometimes. <laughs> and I will sort of um, undo everything, take off my regular everyday like street clothes and then I will put on a nightgown. I live in them, I love them, they are for me. This nightgown has a built-in bra here and then it has this uh, option here for pockets to put your stuff in, uh, which I like. It's nice and long. I mean, I like a long night, not too long. <laughs> I like a long nightgown, but don't go past my knees because then it's not gonna, you'll give me nightmares basically. But in the back, it covers the whole booty, which I love. And as you see, it has this uh, detail again on the back. So it has the rainbow ribbon detail in the back again. Like I said, it kind of goes with the whole collection. I love it. I love nightgowns. They're my favorite. I got this in a 1416 and it fits perfectly. The shorts were a 1416. The shirt was a 1416. Um, but yeah, this was originally $42. And like I said, it's not hard to find a sale. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. This is all the stuff that I had to show you guys. So I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, give me a thumbs up or subscribe, leave a comment, let me know. And uh, I have some other stuff in store. So um, again, if you ever miss me, you can go to my YouTube channel and check me out there or on Instagram. If you guys want to check out any of these clothes, everything is going to be linked down below for you. Um, and that's all I have. So I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys.